What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is going to be a full feedback and review of an upcoming game that we've had the privilege of playing and is available to you during Steam Next Fest. I'm not incentivized in any way to make this video. These developers haven't had much exposure or really even marketed themselves that much yet. But this game is fully deserving of the attention from a lot of people. If you're into the tactical FPS genre, you want a true open sandbox experience where you can mill sim, play with your buddies, and have some intense, immersive firefights, this is the game. Now, I have not had a real solo experience, but this game is just similar to Squad and Arma. You're going to need to communicate with your team to get the most out of it. If you need a team, make sure you join the Caliber Collective. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. We play these titles all the time, and we think this game is going to be one of our main titles going forward. The game I am referring to is called Xfil, and I don't want to give you a formal description because it's really hard to nail down what exactly it is. What I will relate it to is Squad. It's better than Squad though. It's not so chaotic. It's a lot more slow, tactical, but the teamwork and objective from a competitive standpoint is similar to Squad. Some of these developers have worked on Squad. One of them was even a former CEO. Their vision is solid, but what they want to bring is a true open sandbox experience so they can introduce people to it. They've already assured us that there are going to be many systems and many mods and customizable game modes that we can design ourselves. So our wheels are already turning to include PVE, even like zombies, things like that. But the base game mode is going to sound simple, but I can promise you it's not. You spawn in one of four teams of varying team sizes. You can do two teams of 16 or four teams of eight, but the server size is going to be 32. But the number of players really doesn't matter. We've had four teams of three and had a really fun tactical time. Your pace, communication, and direction will matter every single time you play. So you spawn in, you can get things like drones, you have tripwires, all kinds of little stuff that you can use with more to come. And you have to go find usually a crashed helicopter, which your map will tell you a general location, but you have to go find it and retrieve some intel from it. Other players can also see the general location, but they cannot see when you grabbed the intel. It will alert them that it has been grabbed and sometimes it'll slow ping, but you can change that setting of where it's at on the map. And then it will alert you if someone is trying to extract with it they can go to one of many different exfil points where they have to radio for a blackhawk helicopter or exfil that usually takes between three and five minutes so they have to defend the site as the aircraft approaches which causes a lot of intense firefights i've already had this experience a lot with beautiful light very similar intense moments all the way up to the end so that gameplay loop probably sounds pretty simple probably doesn't sound that inviting but i can promise you and it's pretty unanimous from everybody in the collective it is fucking fun it's intense it's scary adrenaline pumping it's a one life mode guys like you don't get to just revive people you have to play slow tactical and work together when you die you're done so you can win by being the last man standing or last team standing or extracting with the intel each game lasts between 15 and 30 minutes and the weather systems and immersion of the graphics and the nature and the sounds is to die for man and i will say this this is going to be bold, and I hope people understand the emphasis of what I'm saying, because I'm not going to throw this around lightly. Xfil, for me, has been the best realistic PvP experience of 2024 from new titles. Now, there's some arcade experiences like Delta Force and other titles like that that were fun. But as far as the realistic, you know, punishing, hardcore FPS experience and PvP, it has been the funnest time. It's unforgiving to die. You just get to spectate your team. When your whole team dies, you get you then get to spectate the rest of the match. But you don't get to just run around and throw your life away you will lose. Each server keeps a running score of who has won the most matches. The post-game analytics and walkthrough of it where every team went, you get to see how close you came to other people, when people were killed, things like that. When your teammates die, they don't get to radio you or do anything like that. You don't even know they're gone half the time until way later when you're trying to ask them a question. So that makes for an intense, immersive experience. We have had a blast and the developers have been more than accommodating for anything that we needed. So a big shout out to you guys. If you are seeing this, thank you very much for the time. And we do look forward to playing the game going forward. I'm already wanting to get done with this video so I can go play it right now. And many games this year haven't done that to me. 
So I'm excited for the future of Xfil. They have a lot more content coming up, guys. And again, they want that true sandbox experience where you can customize the games to your liking. The Caliber Collective is already trying to brainstorm as many things as we can to try to make some fun modes that people can use in the future. I have some more content of the raw gameplay in the works, and I might even release that after this video. We got to capture a ton of content on Monday night, so make sure you stay tuned for that, subscribe, turn on notifications, because these upcoming videos of raw gameplay of Xfil were no doubt, hands down, some of the most fun I've had with a group of FPS players in a long time. But that's all I have for you guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. Again, this is a small dev team. And if you've played the game or want to play the game or have any feedback, make sure you give it to them. And don't forget to join the CC. We would love to have you because these types of projects are the ones we look forward to playing at large scale in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you.